You're Boris' cousin. It's a grand do, isn't it? Hi. Enjoying yourself? It's great, Crack. It's a fine thing to celebrate future King Siegfried. I'm curious. How do you feel Barret has done as king? Oh, he's done a lovely job he has. Likes to throw feasts. Invites us common folk. More host than king, perhaps, but he's a fine man, and the city has never been busier. Can I ask, what is your life like in this city? Well, there's a fair amount of work, isn't there? Hauling crates, shoveling muck. I'm a tanner myself. Long days stripping hides and dousing them in cow piss. You can probably smell the stench. I can. Enjoy the feast, friend. You as well. Lazar, I was not sure if I would see you here. Why is that? I thought you'd rather take stock of your wares than placidly observe caterwauling Vikings. And you... You would rather spend time with this gossiping auntie? I like to greet everyone at parties. There is no shortage of amusements. Enjoy yourself. The example of a pack of you. Sigrid! I expect my son to act like the future king, not roll in the muck. So Flan will take you on as his farting court jester. Think with your head and not your arse. Flan can assure my throne, which will one day be yours. That makes you the arse. Enough! Eivor, my son, Siegfried. I'm sorry, I... I must clear my head. Could you speak to the boy? Only shitbirds mock their father under his own roof. Right. Because the cousin who just arrived has the authority over how I speak in my own home. In Norway, you'd be knocked to the ground by now. Come on, then. If you've any guts worth respecting. Fine, whelp. You won't land a single punch. Yes, I owe you thanks for not beating me bloody. I am not here to quarrel with you, Sigfrith. Da speaks so highly of you. I wanted to see if you lived up to the stories. Does anyone? A visit to Norway might do a young vikinger like you some good. I'd love to go with Da. Maybe the homeland would kindle his warrior spirit. Give Dublin a fair and fearsome king. You're unhappy with how your father rules. Da has the makings of a fine king, but he chooses to play the unctuous merchant instead. I've lost track of your father. Any idea where he might be? He wanted to clear his head. That means he's visiting grandfather's grave. Da has a chat with him almost every day. Bareth can commune with the dead. <laughs> no, his conversations are all one-sided. The grave sits at the top of the hill. I'll find him. Thank you, Sigfrith. Eivor! Teach me how to hit like that sometime.
Sed tibi erit ipse benedictus, non vivet in ignorantiae sue providentiae, verbum autum de quod es multis sermonibus, et parum haben significatione. Calcia menta mihi mundus es satis raro sedatei, sint piorum ambulare in atris domus dei, et ingens vestigia fessit de paradiso voluptatis, ut stimulum calcitrare. Valde in regno de Egypte faraoni, obsessus cum profeta mosi imprecari mala magna quae fecerat, deus mosi et somniorum. Tabas et felis soro tumuit armis venit pluviali, vel focibis auida mores necne, Hecres tristes, e non cupidum eorum. Itaque mutorumque Christi fidelium explentes. Qui sinistra tristis terra. Pax eterna est una via ad emundationem propriae vitae eius terenae terminales veluti, giro includi pe... Dominus autum et supplementum aur proter liquidae et domino. Welcome, welcome. Come see what I have. What have you got for me today? Have you looked at everything I have for sale? I'll see you later, friend. so uneasy. <sighs> A king must forever be on guard. When I'm upset or uncertain, I come here to seek my father's spirit. I didn't even ask after him. Somehow I knew it. Some years ago, he was destined to die in battle, and 
He did. He sits with Odin now. My family owes yours a solemn debt. That winter, your family came to stay with us. I remember your birth, screaming like a warrior. The plague year. No one would take us in. No one but your mother and father. I owe your family my life. And what a life we had. I have fond memories of you and I slipping out to hunt. In dead of night. Stars in the sky. Moonlight on snow. <laughs> and that's how I got that scar. <laughs> I do feel bad about that. What about the one on your cheek? This. A caution from the gods about my vanity. Come. If we tell all our stories, we'll be here a week. Do you see something? My imagination run amok, but let us away. Funny how just the slightest noise sets a fellow on edge. By Thor's hammer about it. I could sleep a week. Not as spry as the old days, eh? When we'd search the night in hopes of catching a will-o'-the-wisp. <laughs> Did we catch one? I have a memory of catching one. Boris Machiwa! Give yourself up! What? Back! Grab him! Bite his hands! Who are these men? Damn you, bastards! My ascension to the throne has not been without contest. The previous king's son, Thorstein, is resentful. You told me nothing of this. You are my guest. I'm not going to burden you with petty concerns. Petty concerns? I now know why you've been anxious all evening. I... It is worrying. He's never been so bold before. He sees you as a usurper to his throne. Perhaps, but he doesn't seem to want to take it. He contents himself by stealing and smuggling with his band of ruffians. It's petty Viking raiding, but it puts me in a bad light with Flan. That's certain. Keep a sharp watch. Brigands rove the streets tonight. You can be sure of me, my king. I am always the last to leave a party. What is wrong? We were ambushed by Thorstein's men. Rivals I was not made aware of. Small wonder King Flan does not embrace you, Bodith. You cannot keep control of the Vikings in your own city. Thorstein makes me look like more of an arse than I do on my own. I see. It is the High King's disfavor that makes this shameful. My cousin, I will take care of Thorstein. No, I do not want to drag you into this sorry mess. Perhaps he'll accept Silver to lie low. For a week or two. But then he'll be back, and back again. I can remove this blood, once and for all. Eivor, this is not your fight. For any and all of your gods' sakes, Barith, let Eivor help you. As of this moment, Barith, my arm is yours. Whatever is needed to bring Flan's smile upon you, I will do. Eivor... I have never been so happy. Your family saved mine those years ago. A fitting reply would be to secure your throne. I will start with Thorstein. It happens that Siegfried may know something. He once ran with Thorstein's gang. Sadly true. Seek him tomorrow in the marketplace. After a night of carousing, he likes to recuperate there. 
We will begin to forge a bond with High King Flom on Rise of Sun. Never learn. <laughs> Hello, friend. Come see my wares. May I see your stores? Can I tempt you with something else? I'm off. Be well, friend. Sigfrith. Eivor. It was a rough night. I drank too much and I am desperate to calm my belly. I cannot help your belly. But could you tell me what you know of this man Thorstein? Ah. Ta told you I tried to join his gang, eh? Thorstein is a real vikinger. Like you, but louder. You weren't allowed to join. Too young and gangly. Amar wouldn't even show me where his hideout is. Tell me a bit about this Amar. Likes a rail the way kittens like milk. Spends her time getting tiddly on the docks, chatting up passersby. I will speak to her. Perhaps Thorstein will regret not letting you in his gang. Listen to me. If you're smart, you won't cross Amma. She's a vicious fighter. Aid me. Be my eyes. Enjoying her ale. Likely to be a mom. What are you drinking, friend? The finest ale in town. I like fine things, so you have my attention. What are you doing here, darling? Looking for a good drink and good company. You've stumbled into the right ale house. Excellent ale and better conversation. The ale leads to chatting, leads to... Well, who knows? <laughs> Ooh, let's find out.
Is that all you can do? Ooh, you are wicked! You are a compelling woman. What is it you do? You may have heard of Thorstein. I'm one of his most trusted friends. I have heard of him. Very impressive that he trusts you. He's like a brother to me. A not very bright brother. He entrusted me with a key to his secret lair. He has a lair? I would very much like to see that. Over in Dupke Landing? Sorry. Thorstein would get all pouty. But perhaps you'd like to join me for a meal. I'd rather join you for something else. <laughs> Ooh, can't wait to find out what that is. But hold that thought. I don't feel well. I best move about a bit. Need to cloak myself here. I need to get that key from her. If I'm careful, I can avoid a fight. about this land, my friend. in here. 
You made a mistake when you came for Baris, Makiva. Oh, God! You plan to kill me? Kill me? Give my head to whatever Irish master you and Boris serve. I serve no Irish master. Borscat! If you had any Norse loyalty, you'd be like me. Running the filthy God Eaters from the island. The King of Dublin should look out for Vikings, not try to make nice with those cunts who killed our forebears. Join me. I could use someone with real balls. And the silver is good. Be silent, and I might show you mercy. Common refuse, delivered to your judgment, King Barith. Thorstein, author of the plot to waylay me and my cousin. Well, you know how it is, Barith. A fellow needs some silver. A king could fetch Dublin's treasury in ransom. Although I'm not certain you'd bring in quite so much. Say so, Barith, and I will cut out his insolent tongue. On your feet, Thorstein. You bloody <sighs> my floors. <sighs> It is a weighty decision. I would have my closest friend advise me. Eivor? How shall I deal with this ruffian? All must see that you are a just, resolute king. A stately and dignified execution is called for. Well said, Eivor. I want no blood feud lasting generations, Thorstein. You are not worth the bother. Dublin confiscates your land and silver. I banish you forevermore. Be gone by sundown. Bend the knee and show your thanks. Best to you, King. I've better places to be than Dublin. Father! Why choose weakness? Give every enemy a length of rope. Soon they will carry your noose. Peace. Flanshinna will soon rule all Ireland. Flanshinna has the power to make or undo my kingship and that of my son. He is the center of all. But Flan distrusts me. He does not believe I'm truly Christian. By showing Christian mercy, I begin to change his mind. You are more shrewd than I took you for, cousin. Maybe Thorstein's release is worth a kingdom. But will mercy be enough? That is why I must build trade. Flan will see that the strength of Dublin's ports is the strength of Ireland. Show him the power of that trade, cousin. Obtain some rare item from afar. Some spice or gem or weapon. And gift it to him at the coronation. It will represent Dublin's reach and help secure my crown. Flan will hear of your Christian mercy. Meantime, 
I will speak to Asara about a gift. Meet me before the coronation. We will go together. Attack on sight here. <laughs> Eivor, welcome to my shop. I came to ask a favor. It is pleasant to strengthen friendships. What do you seek? Barith wishes to show Flan the value of Dublin's trade. Could we obtain a gift from a distant land? This is the very problem vexing me. You see, I have acquired land in Rathdown, previously owned by Thorstein, in fact. But the land has gone to Thorn and Dog, smugglers as well. Once cleared, its trading route will serve our heart's desire. In this case, my heart desires an exotic gift, which would be... A spice merchant I know covets pelts of fine fur. Rathdown has an abundance. It is a perfect match. Spice is a gift fit for a king. Thank you, Asar. It is north of here. You go clear it of smugglers while I sit on my ass. No need for thanks. Rathdown is north of Dublin. I should journey there. 